All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to load a dishwasher. Okay, I already have it loaded right here and I'm gonna show you the reasoning why I loaded it this way and why I believe that this is the proper way to load it. All right, so here is the dishwasher right here, a Whirlpool dishwasher, great dishwasher. And I'm gonna start at the bottom, okay? So now we're here, okay? If you look right here, I start off with the plates. As you can see, I have the saucer, the smaller plates, and then larger plates right there. And the reason why I have it just like this, because it looks nice right there, but everything seems to be orderly in here. Now, the thing with the plates, all right, as you can see, the plates are facing this way because when the propeller propels the water and shoots out, it shoots at a outward angle, not inwards. So you want the face of the plate or the top of the plate sort of like facing the center of the dishwasher, okay? That's the reason why I have it like this. And then you see I have plenty of space in between here so the dishes can get washed thoroughly, okay? There's a propeller at the bottom of the, on this dishwasher and there's a propeller at the top, all right? So that's the plates. The next, I have a pot. As you can see right here, sometimes people don't want to wash their pots. I am one of those people and I have the pot in here. Now you want to keep the pots and pans on the lower shelf. All right, because they can tend to be heavier and the heavy in the bottom rack or shelf can actually maintain a little bit heavier weight than the top shelf. So I have that. All right, as you can see in the back, I have a cutting board. Now the cutting board is one of those odd shaped things that where am I gonna fit it in the dishwasher? And I do it by keeping it on the sides. I either keep it on the back of the bottom shelf or either on the side right here of the bottom shelf. And it gets cleaned thoroughly that way. And it doesn't obstruct any of the other dishes inside of the dishwasher, all right? Next, I have a large bowl, all right? So I keep the large bowls on the bottom rack, the bottom shelf, all right? Because it, it's, it's just better there. I'll get to that and when I get to the top shelf, I'll, sh I'll come back to it to tell you why I keep the larger bowls on the bottom shelf because they're they're larger and they take up a lot of space all right and so there's more room on the bottom shelf than there is on the top shelf all right next i have some odd shaped cups now normally i'll keep the cups on the top shelf but because these are odd shaped larger it fits better and therefore it will clean better on the bottom shelf all right next i have the utensils all right so as you can see right here i have the utensils separated right here are the forks I have the knives, and then I also have the spoons right here. Now, there's something with the forks, knives, and spoons. The forks and the spoons I keep with the utensil side, the side that you eat with, upwards because they get cleaned thoroughly. Now, typically, I do like you know that right here with the spoons and forks up upwards uh, because it, it cleans them better, and uh, that's the way I do it. However, the knives I actually have face down. Now, the reason for that is when you're picking out the utensils to, to put them away, you don't want to be reaching down and grab a knife the wrong way and cut yourself. So it's easier and safer, in my opinion, to keep the knives down that way and the forks and spoons upwards, okay? Safety, all right? Now, let's move along to the top shelf, all right? So we're on the top shelf, and it kind of looks like a big cluster of stuff right here. Uh, and I'll show you there's a reason for that, okay? So right here, it's kind of orderly. Right here, I have the smaller bowls I keep on one side right here, and I try to keep them at an angle. Now, the reason for that is when the dishes are drying, it's, it, they'll dry more efficiently if they are at an angle and the water can drip down, all right, and not sit flat on it, all right? So that's why I have the bowls right here. The small bowls are up here, all right? Remember that big bowl that I had down there? The big bowl's still down there. The small bowls are down there. Next, I'm gonna talk about something that's right next to the bowls on the top, and that's plastics. Do you see the plastics right here? And they look kinda of odd and out of place. Now, the reason why I keep the uh, plastics on the top shelf is because when I have it on dry mode, there's a heating element at the bottom, all right? It gets very hot, and therefore, the plastics are safer on the top shelf, and that's why I keep them right here, just lined awkwardly looking, there's actually a cap right there. Uh, the, the plastics will actually have a longer, you'll have longer use out of them if it's not hit by the heating element every time that you wash them, 
All right, so that's the plastics, that's the bowls. Now let's move on to the cups, okay? As you can see right here, I have cups, cups that will fit on the top shelf. I have them lined up here. And again, as you can see, they are at an angle. Now, when they're at an angle, look again, they dry more efficiently. All right, so I have that, and then I have a bowls up here, a couple of bowls, there is a measuring cup. And then this particular dishwasher, Whirlpool dishwasher, has a little section right here. It's typically made right here for wine glasses, all right? Wine glasses are supposed to go right there, but I don't have any wine glasses. So I actually use this to put some of the larger utensils, such as the knife. You see the knife right here? I keep that up here, as well as this device right here. Uh, it's kind of like a grater. I keep it at, at the top. That way I can lay it down this way. They can come clean and they, they fit. Because if I had some of these large utensils down here, it will prevent the propeller from spinning around. And that's one thing you do not want. You do not want extra large dishes in the wrong places because the propeller will not spin around, therefore giving you a wash that will come out not clean as it possibly can. All right, so all of this fits in here. It's important to make sure that none of the propellers, this dishwasher has a propeller at the top, one at the bottom of the shelf right here. It's, you're supposed to keep those free so they're not caught up. So if you have too tall of items sitting on the bottom shelf or the top shelf, remove them, possibly hand wash them, so you can have a thoroughly clean wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. All right, now one thing that you wanna make sure you have is rinse aid, okay? That shows that there's rinse aid in here. If you don't, fill up the rinse aid to enough to where it will actually assist with rinsing the dishes. If you do not have this, a lot of times people complain about wet dishes after they finish washing. And one of the reasons may be because you don't have rinse aid. It helps get the dishes dry, all right? Next, I'm going to put in the dishwasher pod. Right here, I have a very good dishwasher pod. This is Cascade Platinum, probably the best there is out there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here and then close the door, make sure to close the door. And sometimes if, if you have really heavy dishes, you get pre-washed. People use a pre-wash by using an extra wash pod right here for the pre-wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna make a selection for normal. And then I have options for sandy rinse and high temp wash as well as heat dry. All right, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take about three hours for this dishwasher. Not all dishwashers are the same, and it may take a little bit longer or less depending on which dishwasher you have. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press start. All right, and that's how you wash dishes. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.